What's good, y'all? Today, we got a special, special video. I just wanted to talk with y'all about this year when it came to Sonic in general. We got Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Origin Plus, Sonic Final Horizon, Sonic Prime, uh, Sonic Superstars, and Sonic Dream Team. And I want to review, revisit all of them and say, was this the best Sonic year ever? Ever and we 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 are going in order. So for further ado, bro, let's start off with the very first game that came out this year. Came out this year. Here we go. And I think I think for that case, we have to look back at the trailer. It came out April, bro. This was so unexpected, bro. Like when this got. When this happened, it was so unexpected. I swear it was so unexpected. It like looking back at this like <laughs> I wanna say I was playing Sonic Frontiers while this whole thing happened and when this rent when this random trailer came out and said it was coming out this Pacific day. Hey, they cooked with. To me, to me personally, I think Murder Sonic the Hedgehog cooked. Like, bro, this is my favorite part of the game too. Like the the many games and objectives of this game where they was like solving mysteries, solving clues and uh, and what and whatnot. I actually still need to finish this game because I, I kind of played it, but I, I mean, I played it, but I didn't finish it. But it's so crazy how looking back at this game, uh, this is probably one of the most calmest collectivist Sonic game we've gotten where it's like, it's really not like, it's, it's like, it's, it's something not like a Sonic 3D game and, and a 2D game. It's just something that you can enjoy, that they'll give to you and just enjoy, you know? Like, I enjoyed this game and it's, and like, there was literally nothing, nothing else to like really do, you know? The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Start, that was the first game Sonic had this year, and they, in my, in my opinion, they killed it. They killed it. Uh, I thought this was, I thought this was a really great start when it comes to 2023 and Sonic. And it's crazy how this is the start, and there's so much more, bro. So much more. So let's get to the second game because, a, hey, Murder on the Hedge Hedge Hedgehog was just one of a, one of a kind, bro. One of a kind. Let's get to the second game. we got of the year sonic origin plus we technically got sonic origin last year but you know plus added amy that's an update you know update i thought it's it's crazy to believe sonic origin plus came out this year considering the fact that sonic superstars came out this year and it's kind of took it over for real for real because i believe this is when it came out sonic superstars got the trailer i could be wrong comment down below but hey i thought i thought sonic origin plus was cool nothing nothing crazy nothing like top tier like like just seeing amy look 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 seeing amy back in the spotlight too because this is the year, low key, that Amy was back. Sonic Frontiers, uh, Sonic Superstars, Sonic Origin Plus. They was really getting Amy back into the Sonic not, Sonic team. Sonic Heroes. Yeah, hey, if we have a team where it's Sonic Tails, Nuggets, and Amy, I don't mind. I don't mind. But yeah, I thought I thought Plus was all right. I love the animation though. I thought the animation was fire. Like the cutscene and everything. I love the special stages. <laughs> like Sonic Origins was 
a game I can look back and say it was oh <laughs> wait wait this is funny this is funny because I, re I remember with the whole media everyone was saying she was gonna get uh su when super Amy is gonna be yellow and now she and it was it turned out to be like light pink I thought that was cold I thought that was cold I think the cutscenes really did it for this game, though. I think Sonic Origin cutscenes really did it for this game, especially for me personally, because they cooked when it came to the cutscenes and, and openings. The game was cool, but you know, it could have it could have done a lot more, in my opinion. I, I thought the music was fine. The gameplay was kind of iffy because you had some lag moments, of course. It almost reminded you of Sonic Colors Storm. Uh, that's kind of Sonic Colors Color Storm. Sonic uh, Colors Remake. But I thought Sonic Origins was okay. It was cool. It wasn't like crazy than what we got later on the year, but it was still a top tier. It was still, it was still cool. Then we got Sonic Prime, uh, season two actually, season two. Uh, I will be reacting to the trailer, but <laughs> copyright issues, you know. But season two of Sonic Prime gave us Sonic and Shadow really teaming up to like really get back the green green hill zone. And I thought Sonic Prime season two was very good and i know people have this whole thing where it's like sonic's character is very different he's a lot more clumsy he's a lot more silly which yes i can understand it is annoying <laughs> but at the same time i kind of like that because it brings more to sonic's character i really feel like the last few years we've been seeing sonic be serious especially with sonic frontiers uh to some degree the comments uh so I feel like this is kind of like getting the best personality for Sonic out there. And, you know, it's it's cool. Like, I, I, I generally enjoy Sonic Prime 2. I think it's a really good show. I, I'm going to be honest. I think it's the best Sonic show easily. At least story-wise and, like, uh, to some degree character-wise. Because I, I love 9. I think 9 is a great character. I think 9 is a really, really great character. I love Amy as a character. I love Knuckles. I love Rouge. Uh, Shadow might just be the best character. Let's be honest. <laughs> Shadow, the, Shadow might be the best character. Uh, and I thought Sonic, I thought Sonic Prime season two was one of an interesting uh, development because they showed Shadow in the first two episodes, and they kind of showed him at the last two episodes. And you're thinking like he's gonna join Sonic along the ride, but he kind of didn't. But I kind of like the fact that. We got to see the two Amy's work together, uh, the pirate one and the robot one. Yeah, robot one. It's been a long time since I've seen Sonic Prime, actually. Nine become spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Nine become nine becoming like the villain at the end. I'm kind of iffy about that, but I want to see how they do it in season three, which is considered already going to be the last season. So I I'm really interested to see how they're going to really do this but season two was really good i thought season two was really good and i can't wait for season three especially since now we got that i would think that sonic and shadow work together way way more and if we get that transformation at the last episode again shoot i would like to see that that would be clean that would be clean but yeah sonic, sonic, i like sonic prime sonic prime was good it was dope one of the one of another best things that came out of Sonic this year, and yeah, it was. This was like to me the beginning. Like now, okay, let's see how Sonic ends the year. You know, like we got Sonic Mur Murder Sonic the Hedgehog, we got Sonic Origin Plus, then we got Sonic Prime. We already knew Horizon was coming with the DLC one and two. So. Hey, let's let's get to the third. Let's get to the another thing that that came out this year for Sonic because bro had a lot. <laughs> We're only halfway through, bro. We're only halfway through.
of course, we get, we have Sonic Frontiers, The Final Horizon. I kind of wanted to split, like, just talk about the DLC all in this one, because Sonic Frontiers Horizon was really, like, the biggest thing, in my opinion, that came out this year for Sonic. And they cut the, the first teaser for this, bro. When this came out, bro, I was already hyped, bro. I was already hyped. I was so hyped for this, bro. <laughs> ah, like, I was ready for this, bro. Final Horizon was really like that, bro. It was really, really like that. And I think it would be a crime if I don't show at least some gameplay. So I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a shout out this YouTuber, Beer, what is it? Uh, Beer, Beer. But hey, bro, when they show this and the, bro, like, I was so hyped for this game, bro. I don't think y'all understand, bro. Like, and like everything to do with Sonic Final Horizons, bro. It's just so, so peak. I, I like even, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. They cooked, bro, and they cooked so much with the DLC, bro. Cooked, cooked. I think the another. I think another thing I just want to talk about for Sonic Frontiers. I'll let the gameplay uh, continue actually, and as I'm talking, like the game is so good, bro. Like. They really fix a lot of everything. The movements, the gameplay, just everything. I think I think DLC one when they when they made you play as do the battle rush mode, doing the like bro, scenes like this is what we need in future Sonic games, bro. Like Game Sonic Frontiers is a prime example of what we need in the future, bro. Because stuff like this is what... Oh my goodness, bro. Standing on the water of everything. Like, I can't... Like... There's so much I want to talk about for this game, bro. Because... Sage is a wonderful character too. I hope she's in the next next few games, bro. Let's let's just get to the ending scene, bro, because the ending scene is what really got to us, all of us. Nope. Like DLC one was cool to me. DLC when they added the songs too. I just want to see this one more time. Hold up, we all we all gotta see this one more time, bro. The spin dash, everything leading up to this, bro. Sorry, Master King. Looks like I'm going all out after all. Da -da -da. Like, Sound of Frontiers is a generational Sonic game where I can really look at it and say, this to me, brought the franchise back. It's the movies, too. I think the movies, part, movie 1 and 2, really brought it back, too. But moments like this in Sonic games, moments like so Frontiers, gaming, history, it's just best. It's just the best when it's, like, doing things like this. And I really hope in the future Sonic games we can get something like this because peak moments like this needs to be in games, bro. Ah! <laughs> L 
looking back at this, you can't say it wasn't peak, bro. Bro. And my hands, I hope the ones I Bro, Sonic Frontiers, best-selling 3D Sonic game I, I've seen. Really winning a lot of awards, too. It's looking so bright for the future of Sonic, bro. And I'm so glad to be al along with it, bro. Growing up as a Sonic fan, I always felt like Sonic could compete with Mario. Or he could be at the top of the top. He's always it's always just fun, cool, whatever. And to see like 2010s, it was kind of like a a cool area, to bad area, what what now and so forth. To see 2020 movies, Sonic Frontiers, and all types of generational peak, and just seeing Sonic back in action, doing what he does best, bro. It's just such a wonderful thing to experience, bro. It's such a wonderful thing to experience. And I think that leads us to the next game. I think that leads us to the next game because Sonic. I can talk about Sonic Frontiers DLC 1 and 2 and 3. Just being good DLC 1, great DLC 2, and then just something, that, in my opinion, I will never take back in gaming history. One of my favorite moments in gaming history. And let's get to Sonic Superstars. Guys, Sonic Superstars! I'm not gonna lie, I really felt like... It's hard to really describe Sonic Superstars, because... Oh, I didn't even see Fang at first. Wait, wait, how did I... When I first seen this trailer, I've never seen Fang at first. I just now seen that. Oh wow, I did not catch that the first time. This game is so odd looking back at because I think the first thing that came in my head when I was watching this trailer and seeing that it was announced, I was like, oh shoot, classics on the game? A hey, Mania Part 2? Like that's the first thing that came up to my mind where it's like Mania, right? And it didn't, it didn't lead up to Mania, but it was still really good, you know? Like, I thought it was great. I just thought it could have at least done a little bit more. I like Tails, Knuckles, and Amy being in the game. I like the new character trip. I do like the new character trip. I'm really not going to spoil anything because I know a lot of people still haven't finished the game. But like, seeing Chip's story is really is really cool. Like, I re definitely recommend seeing that. Now we gotta talk about this though. I feel like Superstars is so much better when it came to Bane when it's when they added a lot more things. When it, when it comes to me and games, I like to do collectibles and get see see that there's not just the main thing of going to the main uh story. When they had the medals, I don't, I still don't know what the medals are for, but like collecting the medals, collecting the fruits, seeing, doing the power-ups, I like stuff like that because you're adding more stuff into the game. It's not like, okay, I'm get, I'm gonna get the rings and then go to the end and do some special stages if not. I like that they added a lot more things, but... I just hope they keep it in the future. I really hope they keep it in the future and I like the fact that Classic Sonic... It feels like they're going with Classic Sonic and, and regular Sonic to have their two different things. Which is brilliant, honestly. It's actually a brilliant thing to do. Because I always thought that Sonic Sonic and, 
And classic sound should be two different games, you know? New 3 of classic feels. Like, I thought Sonic Superstar was a really good game. It didn't lead up to Sonic Mania, of course, we already know that, but to me, I think Sonic Mania was so perfect that Sonic Superstars trying to like lead up to it was not really what I think it's I think Sonic Superstars is underappreciated, bro, because we all just have this assumption where it's like Mania 2, Mania Part 2, Mania this, you know, like and even though it didn't lead up to it, I thought it did a lot of things better than it. And I think no matter what, we can all just agree that it was a good game. I think I think we can all admit that it was a good game. I don't know why, why I'm seeing all these type of thumbnails. I seen on Twitter thumbnails. People were saying Sonic Superstars being bad, bad, bad. I'm like, Sonic Superstars is at low a 7 out of 10, bro. Like, the game is good. The game's good. It's fine. There is a bit, a bit lag in a couple areas, but the game is legit a good game. And I thought it was another good direction when it came to Sonic. Now, let's talk about... The last thing we got for the year. I feel like it's only right if we just saw the intro because Sonic, there's so much to say about Sonic Dream Team, bro. I still haven't, I still haven't finished the game, but this is such a wonderful conclusion to 2023 for Sonic, bro. Like. This is one of a kind game, bro. I'm having so much fun playing this game, bro. <laughs> ah, Sonic Dream Team. This game is just pure fun. Pure action, pure adventure. Honestly, it's all you can really ask for in a Sonic game, and it's on mobile. Bro, please let this be on PC. <laughs> please put this on different consoles, bro, because in the near future. Because this game has no lacks in anything. I think it's poly one of the best polished Sonic games, one of the best, most fun polished games. Having Cream back is just goaded. Like, I love this game, bro. I have so, like, this game is just pure fun, bro. <laughs> I can never get, I can never get so old of this intro, bro. I love this intro, bro. Dun, 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 dun. Sonic Dream Team is the perfect conclusion to Sonic in, in 2023. I think it's the perfect conclusion just because it's telling us that Sonic is back. And it's telling us that no matter how many things that they he had been through when it comes to bad games or rough stretches, it's back. It's back. And ultimately I just I'm just glad to just see everything go bro like sonic murder of sonic the hedgehog uh sonic dream team sonic plus sonic origin plus sonic superstar and sonic frontiers and i think it's only right let's end it off like this bro once 2023 the best year for sonic and it's so hard to just say yes, because it's, I mean, to say no, I meant, because it's one of the best years, just for real, because the games went off, the shows went off, we can't, we can't wait till 2024. Uh, I feel like this song perfectly resembles Sonic, just, just going through so much stuff. And he's still back in the action. Sega just released five five new games. All and 
Hey, Sega's back, Sonic's back, and it's good to see it back, bro. So I definitely think Sonic, I think Sonic's back. This might be his best year, and hey, it's good to be it's, it's good to be a part of it. And I I'm good to be covering stuff like this because I love to see my my personal favorite franchise be back in action. Pokemon, please do something. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. But ultimately, like, it makes me like really happy to know that Sonic is like really doing good again. Uh, comment down below what's your favorite Sonic game this year? This year was it Sonic Dream Team? Was it Murder Sonic the Hedgehog? Was it Sonic up the update of Sonic Frontiers? <laughs> update for Sonic Origins? Oh, and what was your favorite Sonic media? Because we got Sonic. The movie uh, three, we didn't we didn't get a trailer or anything, but we saw like shadow sh shoes, uh, the logo. Like twenty twenty four could be a good year. Twenty twenty four could be a good year. Remasters. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna do a Sonic Superstars DLC. If they do that, that would be odd, but that'd be cool. There we are. Ah. <sighs> But I think that comes to the conclusion of this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below if y'all want me to do videos like this. And because, hey, Sonic this year really brought me up, bro. I think I'm just I'm just happy and definitely appreciative of just Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. Because it's good to see stuff like this. SP3. Is out, and I know the montage is coming. More Sonic games are coming. More games are coming. Like I don't know what the next playthrough is gonna be, but just know it's gonna be it's gonna be fire. And 2024 is coming. I can't wait, and I hope y'all can't wait either. Sonic was peaked this year, bro. I can't wait for the future. And I can't wait to see so many things out of Sega and Sonic Team. I can't wait. I'm excited. Sonic 3 coming out next year, bro. And I can't. One step at a time, and hey, I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. Sonic's taking off again, bro. We out. Peace.